Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at mitigating DHCP attacks. We'll be discussing DHCP attacks, DHCP attack mitigation, steps to implement DHCP snooping, and then finally we'll look at DHCP snooping configuration. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. Two types of DHC, DHCP attacks are DHCP starvation and DHCP spoofing. Both, both attacks here are mitigated by implementing DHCP snooping. The first one here, DH, DHCP starvation attack. The goal of this DHCP starvation attack is a denial of service for connecting clients. DHCP starvation attack requires an attacker tool such as Gobbler. The starvation attack happens when a lot of requests request all those IP addresses and the DHCP server hands out all available IP addresses and there are no more IP addresses to hand out. DHCP snooping attack occurs when a rogue DHCP server is connected to the network and then it provides false IP configuration parameters to legitimate clients. It's a fake DHCP server. Now, a rogue server can provide a variety of mis misleading information, including wrong default gateways, wrong DNS servers, wrong IP addresses. It's easy to mitigate DHCP starvation attacks by using port security. You limit the number of MAC addresses on a port, and it can only request so many MAC addresses. However, mitigating a DHCP spoofing attack requires more protection. Now, DHCP spoofing attacks can be mitigated by using DHCP snooping on trusted ports. So we can use DHCP snooping on trusted ports. Now, this DHCP snooping also helps mitigate against DHCP starvation attacks by rate limiting the number of DHCP discovery messages that an untrusted port can receive. DHCP snooping builds and maintains a DHCP snooping binding database. And the switch uses this to filter out DHCP messages that come from untrusted sources. When DHCP snooping is enabled on an interface or VLAN, a switch receives a packet on an untrusted port. The switch compares that source packet information with the information held in that DHCP snooping binding table. The switch then will deny packets containing specific information. There are four steps to enable DHCP snooping. First one here is we actually have to enable the service DHCP snooping. So global configuration command IP DHCP snooping. Then what we do is we go into all of our trusted ports here and we use the IP DHCP snooping trust command on each one of those interfaces. Step three, is to limit the number of DHCP discovery messages that can be received per second on a trusted, on untrusted ports. And we do that by the IP DHCP snooping limit rate command. And once again, that's per second. And then finally, the fourth step here is we enable DHCP snooping but by VLAN or range of VLANs using the IP DHCP snooping VLAN command. Here's an example of how to configure DHCP snooping. We have a simple network set up here. We have a PC on the left side connected into a switch. And then on the right side, we have our DHCP server. PC is connected in the switch on fast ethernet 05. DHCP server is connected on fast ethernet 01. Because the PC is connected in on a on fast 05, it's an untrusted port. We're going to set that as an untrusted port because there should never be a DHCP server on this port. Because our DHCP server here is on F01, this is a trusted port right here by the purple square. This is representing this is a trusted port. Because we have a DHCP server, it's going to go through the DORA process, the discovery offer request, 
an acknowledgement DACP process, those messages are expected to come here. So we set, we're going to set this up F01 as a trusted port. Now the configuration steps to do that. First step is to turn on DHCP snooping globally. We do that in global configuration mode, IP DHCP snooping, and then we go into the interface. First interface we're going into here is F01. That's the one where our DHCP server is connected. So that should be a trusted port. And so once we're in our interface F01, the command is IP DHCP snooping trust. And we're trusting that the device connected here up to F01 is a DHCP server. You as the administrator need to set that up. Once you have that set up, or once you have that configured, go ahead and type exit. Now let's turn all those other ports into um, where there's a rate limit on that. And right here, we'll do interface and then we do a range here of fast ethernet zero, five to 24. So ports five to 24, we're gonna do rate limiting on here. Then once we're in our interfaces, we go ahead and enter the command IP DHCP snooping limit rate of six. And that's going to limit the number of re DHCP requests we can get into that. Then down here, we come up, we, we exit all of our interface, and then we can specify that snooping is turned on for our VLANs, 5, 10, 50, 252. Couple of commands here to verify that your IP DHCP snooping is working. First command here is show IP DHCP snooping. And this, this is to verify that D, that your DHCP snooping is actually turned on and working. The second here is show IP DHCP snooping. It's an end here. Binding. And this will view the clients that have received DHCP information. So th those are the two show commands that'll help verify your DHCP snooping is configured. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on mitigating DHCP attacks. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com, and you can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security. In the bottom right is one of my videos I think you'll really like. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This here is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.